What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. We've got a couple days of winter down here in Texas, <laughs> so there's nothing going on. I um, decided to make myself a, a quick little shop project. Um, I've, I've been wanting to do, you know, another one of these things I've been wanting to do forever. Uh, we go on these sort of overlanding trips uh, to Big Bend, you know, we go to uh, up to New Mexico, we go out to Havasu, we take these long multiple day driving journeys and uh, having extra gas is always a nice thing uh, but you don't want to tie up roof rack space with extra gas cans and such because um, you want to put your firewood up there and you might have to throw a table or something up there and the gas can just kind of gets in the way so I've been seeing these Jeep guys drive around and they got those roto packs you know mounted on their the roll cages and all this and, and they got the gas can mounted sort of where you can get to it easily without having to climb up somewhere and get it so I made me this thing right here uh, to mount my gas can to the rack I uh, just bought some little steel flat stock at Home Depot a couple hinges a couple latches um, and I did a little trick with my grinder which I'll show you uh, I've already I've already done built it because <laughs> it was cold and rainy yesterday and camera didn't want to cooperate so it's a little bit better today now we got the thing all built and painted so I'll show you what it looks like how it works and then I'll show you how I made it easy money let's go check it out all right so it's still super windy out here so if there's wind noise uh, just ignore it <laughs> uh, so this is my NATO five gallon gas can um, this one's pretty crusty but it's just what I had for measuring this will actually fit uh, any kind of newer one and uh, I made it to where it hooks on the rack and then it mounts onto the rain gutter down here and all you got to do is put the latches up like this and this comes down and the gas can comes off fill up your gas and you throw it back on there it's nice because the gas can can sit up here you know where it's easily accessible easy to reach and then uh, you know, this thing goes like that and then your little latch and then this actually will lock up on top here you can lock it so nobody can steal it it takes a key uh, so nobody can steal my gas can when I'm out on the trail we decide to stop for a hike or a beer or something so pretty neat I don't know it cost me about 40 bucks 50 bucks put the hammer tone paint on there just to kind of make it look a little more rugged um, we I probably won't get to test it this year on the on the uh, Big Bend trip because I don't think I'll be able to go I'm having a, a back thing so uh, New Mexico will probably be the first time I try it but maybe somebody will take it on the, the Big Bend trip and tell me how it works so let's uh let's jump into making it um, which is pre-recorded for your enjoyment um, i'll just throw it in there in a real fast motion kind of way and you can see it if you got any questions about it hit me in the comments and uh you know i'll, I'll sort of commentate what i was doing so you don't get lost let's go all right so we're gonna take the grinder and we're gonna gently score this steel uh, right on our marked measured lines that we made before um, you only need to go about halfway down uh, to make the next step easy this is the next step you can bend this steel and you look like Superman if people are watching you because you're just bending the steel like it's no problem but it's because we've scored it uh, you know on those cuts go about halfway through the thickness of it it makes it real easy um, and then we just kind of bend it up we get some nice corners now we can see what the excess looks like and we kind of know where to cut it. Um, right here we're cutting the bottom where the hinge is going to go. Uh, this is sort of the bottom front edge of it here. This is where the release is. You want to make sure you clean up your cuts really, really well. Um, we're going to be welding on this, but also we don't want anything sharp to cut our hands. So just make sure we get that nice and clean. Get all the goop off the metal there and make it good for the welder. Here's where we're welding on that little two inch hinge. Uh, make sure you don't get a galvanized hinge. That stuff's terrible for welding. It won't stick and it smells bad. So it's just a regular old steel hinge. And check the operation and now we have the excess on the top. 
which we've uh, measured and marked and we can cut that right now. Cut it a little bit long just in case we need to uh, trim a little bit if the can is a little thicker or thinner at the top than we were expecting. And then uh, here we're welding on the top part of the, the clasp. This is the locking end. It goes right on there and looks perfect. I put the lock on with some screws just in case I lose the key. I can always cut the top of the strap and change the bottom part out. Get some new one, uh, new set of keys for it. Figures, right in the middle of welding. I would run out of welding wire. <laughs> Had to go on another trip to Home Depot to pick up a spool. But I bought two! Because if I want to run out next time, I want to have some. Just in case. Alright, I'm going to put this uh, welding wire back in there and then we'll get back to welding. Alright, measuring for the bottom piece here, we're putting in uh, a support to keep the two pieces together. Kind of support the weight of this uh, can once it's full. Just going to tack it in place. Check the fit, make sure that they're even uh, on the bottom and at the top there because we're going to add these other supports here. This is just pieces that I cut off. Uh, they happen to fit if you sort of measure correctly. Um, you can make everything work. The front one I just put between them and welded it in smooth so it had a nice clean look. The back and the bottom it didn't really matter. Uh, so we'll just again tack these in just for now and uh, you know make sure that everything fits correctly before we burn everything in super hard. They were adding a little bit of weld because it was kind of weak. Making sure everything is good. Don't mind those little feet back there. That's my shop helper and yes she is wearing a welding hood to watch. That's pretty much it. We're going to weld on the little feet for the back that sit into the drip rail. I just used some 3 8 uh, bar stock and some scraps of that steel. Bent them up a little bit and, and you know kind of checked them before we welded them on. Hit it with a little high grade automotive primer. Can never have too much primer. This is going to keep it from rusting uh, for sure for sure. So get it on there real nice after we clean that metal. And then this is that hammer tone paint. Uh, you can get that stuff anywhere. I just use Krylar or Rust-Oleum for both. It's uh, nice to use the same product for primer and paint. And uh, you know, I think it came out pretty good. It's a nice color. All right, hey, look at that. We got us uh, a gas can there. Hanging on the side of the bus. Just like we did at the beginning of the video. Back to where we started. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, I don't know. It looked look pretty easy to build right I didn't work off any plans or pictures or anything like that I just kind of had it in my head and bought the steel and and went to cutting and then welding and you know kind of four and a half trips to Home Depot and you know whatever super easy you can do it if you want me to do it let me know I'll build you one and sell it to you <laughs> uh, but they're pretty easy and I, I ordered a new gas can for that uh, just now moments ago so we'll have a nice shiny new gas can that uh, that doesn't leak to put in there. So if you liked it, hit me in the comments. If you didn't like it, hit me in the comments. Whatever, doesn't matter. And uh, get a shirt from the Teespring down there or whatever the link we have down below for our shirts and our sweatshirts. Cold weather's here. It's getting cold, although today is actually pretty nice compared to yesterday where it was all rainy and, and gross. Uh, so hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, tell a friend, tell everybody you know. Thanks for watching.